is Profe Okello, my man's. We've been playing, like, I've known Profe for a few years, you know? Like, some time since, we'll keep like, we played ball against each other, like, like what, grade six? Grade six. Grade six, and grade eight. And, grade and eight. we actually, like, met, met grade nine, yeah? yeah that was crazy, huh? Yeah. We have a lot of chemistry. Oh, for real? That's actually deep, man. Yeah, like, like, for real. Grade six? It's like nine years, bro. I didn't know I was playing against you, and then I see you in grade eight because of the school uh -huh. match or whatever. And then grade nine comes, I'm like, oh, this nigga back. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's back, crazy. Bro. Fam, ball brings people together, Not no fact. caps. Bro, I have so many ball friends. It makes no sense. It makes absolutely And no it's sense. crazy seeing, like, some actually taking the path of ball still. Mm, and then some, doing like, things. doing other things. It's crazy. Yeah, some doing music. Yeah. Some in drugs, gang. Some dead. Yeah, for real. Some hooping, hooping still. Oh, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. All because of ball. Yeah, man. Like, after I'm saying you're interviewing you yeah. right so, now, I'm going to interview like this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I went to one. Like, yeah. last year, I did this radio. This guy named Sir Worthy up in um, uh, Finch. Mm. Yeah, he's a real Finch? One. Yeah. No, they're nice, though. They're not like, you hear I know. I'm just saying it's deep. Yeah, deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, damn, well this is my first time interviewing someone, you know? There's this. Yeah. Alright, see. What I want to know first is, for everyone probably wants to know, like, what led you towards YouTube? Like, actually making yeah, videos? Yeah, what led you to... So check me out. My sister, right? Yeah. Like, I never actually told people this. I feel like I told Moose once, but like, my sister used to watch this YouTuber named Travis Williams. Mm. He was on the vlog tip every single day. I'm like, yo, what are you watching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she showed me him. He was like, oh, this guy's actually entertaining. Mm. So I ended up watching his videos for legit, I'd say five months straight, just pure entertainment. It's like, yeah, it came on new like TV, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, one day, like, I, I don't know what I was thinking about. Just one day, I was like, yo, let me pull up my camera, like on my phone, and just record myself going to the gym. Yeah. So I did it. And you remember that video? I'm like, so boom, YouTube. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first video is about to be lit from here. I had no, I don't know what I was thinking, mm. but I just did it. And then, like, bro, it just became fun instantly because mm. I uploaded that same day, shared it on Twitter. Okay. And because I think we just finished high school. So, yeah, like, yeah. It was grade 12 summer. So, like, we were all still, like, real connected with everyone from high school. Mm. So, so, you had, like, the support of, like, Yeah, because uh, it was not, like, like, three, four months after high school. Yeah, like legit, yeah. probably two weeks after. I was like, okay, do this, man. So I shared it, bro. Then I uploaded seven days straight. I was like, nigga, I gotta do this. Yeah. And that led place. you towards editing, because you had to edit your own oh, shit, right? Then I started my edits, I thought were fire in the beginning. They were ass, booty butt cheeks. <laughs> It'd be like that, though. Like, it's a growing period. Not know? for real, but like, if I didn't make those edits in the past, bro, yeah. I'd be nowhere close, because you learn every single time. You just logging up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, my bad. Good well, person. Those ones they they wipe this the the glasses yeah. on Twitter and they see someone different. That mute? No. <laughs> yes, I do. I do. Like, it's, it's, it's when they show they show like uh, the, they show like a picture. Like let's say they show me and you, yeah. and then they show the wiping glasses, and then they show like the next person. Like, Right, nice like, stories, like know Chris I'm Brown and like you know what I'm talking about. Story. Dwayne, you the Rock Johnson. Just let it spoil. Yeah. Okay. So we yeah, all that was like. Start. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, was, that was the start. You know. Not. You're versatile. And it's like you've been vlogging. Yeah. You've been um making hair videos, right, money like videos, that. like positive talk, blah blah blah. Like what led you towards tapping was, into those bro, niches? Okay, boom. So so, I did vlogs just because. I was watching vlogs. Yeah. So I'm like, let me do that. And then I did my hair videos because I wanted dreads. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted, I want dreads and record the process. And plus, I always, also used to see people with like, like black guys mm. do hair videos and get bare views because not many, right? So I'm like, let me do it. First of all, I'm straight. So it's not like it's gay, right? Yeah. So I know a lot of guys didn't want to watch hair videos because they thought you were watching gay man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, I knew people. And that's actually, it. sorry to cut you off, but yeah. that's a real thing, that's eh? That's a fact. But a lot of people, like, I'm not saying it's right though, but a lot of people are not okay with like Bro, watching the. It's not even them. They just don't want people catching them. So ima <laughs> imagine you're watching a gay nigga. Bro. Teach. There's nothing wrong being gay, but imagine you watch them, you know. And, and someone's someone like, yo, what the hell are you watch? It's, it, it's an image factor. It's a thing. It's yeah. an image factor because, like, even exactly. with, like, a man will say something, and like a man will be like, "Yo, say like pause, that's sus." It's mm. like, 
But it could be like a normal thing. Like a man could be like eating a popsicle, not even thinking nothing of it. Exactly. And a man could be like, yo, that's gay. That's, that's gay. When you're just really enjoying the snack. Yeah, that's for crazy, real though. Bro. Yeah, yeah. but that is, I, bro, anyways, bro. So well, I, I saw that there was a niche there. I was like, yo, let me do that. Mm. And I made one video. One video I made legit. I made it out of fun, bro. Like, oh, for bro. real? That's dope though. For real. I remember I was recording two videos. Cause I was actually waiting for this camera mm. to come in the mill. I need the batteries and all that. It was, it was a pain in the butt. Okay. So I was making the video with my old camera, and I was just like, "Bro, what I say?" I was like, "Let me just make a hair video." All the stuff is so random. Like, let me make a hair video. Mm. And I said, "Yo, this is how you grow your hair an inch as an African." Boom, boom, bow. Mm. My hair was even that long, fam. I had no business teaching. But the, you were making, you're making moves. I was making like, like, like viewers were coming and yeah, shit. Yeah, no, that was the first video, so there's no oh, hair oh, okay, videos okay, prior okay, to this, okay, no okay. views prior to this. Okay. I was doing reactions and vlogs. Yeah, yeah. So I did that, and I found nothing of it. Then two weeks go by, I had like a thousand views. I'm like, oh, that's dope, first thousand. Then like a month went by, I'm like, got 10K. And then it was like a snowball effect. Like, every single day, I was getting like 5K views on the video. One day it'd be a thousand, some days it'd be low, it'd be like mm. 500, but then boom. Like 20 k I'm like, what the heck? This video's going crazy, it's going dumb, it's going stupid. I'm like, what the hell? Bro? Choose one, choose like, pick one, bro. Right. And at the end of the day, I realized, okay, let me make a business decision for mm. my channel. I'm not doing hair videos. I'm doing, because, bro, I'm getting tracked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me build my audience. I'm just going to do that. Okay. So I did that for a minute. And then I was like, okay, this is cool, but bro, YouTube's something crazy because it'll box you in so quick. Yeah. Like, like classify you as bro, that category I'm alone. You, right? The algorithm and just the people, they don't want to see anything else besides that. Yeah. I had good videos. I remember I tried putting a vlog video out. Even the video we did when we fed the homeless, yeah, yeah. that video was a banger. And just because I was doing hair videos at the time, it didn't get a lot of traction. It didn't get any traction because people weren't, I can't blame them. They didn't subscribe to that. Yeah. You know? So that's what happened. And then I said, yo, let me try to get out this box. Mm. And that's when like the business video came in. I was like, bro, I'm doing this. Let me just make a video of it and let me make it like undeniably like, great, to be honest. Okay. Like, one video that I knew for a fact, bro, it was a banger. Okay. Like entertainment wise. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. all the business videos were hella boring. Like, no one, you don't want to watch no business video from yeah, man. This unless is, unless you're really like tapped into that stuff, yeah, but like, you're not gonna. If you're just it, like yeah. the everyday Joe, you're not gonna. Which majority of YouTube is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyday people just browse. Just casual it. people just browse. Yeah, it. so like you want something entertaining, entertaining, you know, in mm. the long run. So I did that, bro. The thing is, YouTube videos don't blow up like that, bro. Mm. Like it takes. Well, some videos do, but like for me, I have noticed. If I have a good video, I know personally it's a banger. Mm. It can take like two months or like even a month at minimum to get like. 10k or more mm. but after that it's going up that's what happened with the business video like now it's at 233 oh for like, damn oh. yeah it took off that's what put me in like a new bracket with like hair and and like yeah that room. must be like a uh, leave a positive effect on you because i know like ta like stepping out of the comfort zone is like fucking it's, it's scary because you never know what's gonna happen right? don't and like i said with the, the they put you in a box right yeah. so imagine having a whole bunch of hair videos you put out a business video and it gets like a tenth amount of views that you, like yeah. you used to. So you're like, bro, the video's trash. Yeah. And then you get the views. But realistically, it's probably your best video. But just because it's not getting promoted in the algorithm, mm. people don't want to watch it. And like, I mess with bro, views? It messes with your head. <laughs> bro, okay. that messes with my head so much. Even now, if I post a video and don't get the views, bro, I debate deleting it. I'm like, oh, bro, for I need to do what I do. I did something wrong. I'm, I'm trash. You know what you mean, dude? You need to get into the mindset. Like, if you feel good about something, keep running with it. Yeah, I'm trying. Like, because eventually, eventually, at the end of the day, whether or not they like it, someone will. Like, you, it's like because I know it's different than like even like for let's say for example making music. Yeah. It's easy for someone to experiment and still have the love. Yeah. It's like like Kanye when he dropped 808s and Heartbreaks. Yeah. It didn't get yeah, like yeah. as much traction as like at the time. But it's seen as one of the most That's influential classic, fucking albums that he's made. That's like, a mindset, bro. School. I feel you on that mindset, bro. Yeah. Now, that's a big key, fam. Even if you get like one comment, like if one person says, yo, this is a really helpful video, or like, bro, this is this is keys, or like, bro, I love the music, mm. great job playing sports, whatever, like that will push anyone. Yeah, exactly. It just takes one person to acknowledge that. One, one person. person. That's sick. Because at the end of the day, like, I know you're not supposed to listen to like external noise, what everyone's saying, all that stuff. Uh, but if one person, especially a person dear to you, says something like positive, uplifting, yo, it can be like fuel you, give you a whole, like, yeah. People sleep on that, it goes a long way. Yeah.